the new record, this new album, it's going to be very loud and it's going to be very raw and it's going to rock like f I've been asked, where did it go wrong? It didn't go wrong. Nothing ever went wrong. My hands are feeling shaky and slowly spinning out of control. You can make every mistake in the book. If you learn from those mistakes, you'll be a better artist. I consider every single thing that's happened to me of crucial importance that has brought me to Rome to talk to you and be able to make another album and I'm 105 years old. It was always music that attracted me the most because that's spontaneous and it's chaotic. You can express yourself. The record that really did it for me, that made me think, oh my God, I want to do this so bad, was Otis Redding. The album was Otis Blue. In terms of a rhythm and a tempo and a vibe, but in terms of an iconic, visual influence, it was Elvis. There was never a moment when I stopped singing. I didn't really write that much because I was working so hard as an actor and that was 17 hour days and learning dialogue and getting up at five in the morning and learning how to shoot a flamethrower. You know, I mean, it's, it, was, it was hard work, but it was a great experience. I have always written all my life about what I really feel, about what's going on. And what I feel that's going on is we must connect with each other. It's an imperative importance that we start practicing the art of love. However, it's gonna hit you over the head with love, you know, metaphorically, of course. In fact, one of the songs on the album is, and I'll give it away right now, is called, I Want Love to Punch Me in the Face. <laughs> On this record, I'm incredibly lucky to have this band. Nigel Harrison, my old cohort from Silverhead, and you know, of course Blondie he was in, and he's done several of my solo projects. And on drums, Clive Deemer, who is most renowned for his work with Porter's Head, Radiohead, and he's the go-to guy for you know making great records. A drummer who plays the songs, but with power, you know, and abandon. And then on guitar, one of the world's greatest rock and roll guitar players, his name is Danny Robinson, and he is unconventionally beautiful. So I'm very, very lucky. I'm also really excited about the simplicity of it. It's just guitar bass drum. Elvis had guitar bass drum. Zeppelin, Doors, it's stripped down, it's clean, there's no fuss. I always make the analogy, you know, when painters started to paint, it was very involved and precise and intricate. And then the older they got, the less brush strokes, the less imagery. So you get down to Matisse, and there it is. Great beauty in one flash. And that's what I intend on doing with this record. I wanna smile.